This is Guild Wars Reborn. Today I have a hero setup team build that I set up that I've never really uh, shared before and it's all about pretty much Mesmer skills. And then of course I have a heal support side and then I'll have a ritualist to help keep me alive. So it's a five Mesmer scheme setup. So I have three Mesmers, the ritualist Raza from the end of Nightfall. You actually change over into a Mesmer as well. I'll actually show you how to do all of this later in the video. So going to be putting everything in the description. So if you need to know runes, gear, weapons, the build template, what is required, everything will be in the description and I'll be able to test it out in the battle. So stay tuned throughout the video and welcome to my channel. Guild Wars Reborn to a lot of YouTube videos the last few years. I hope you're watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, definitely have a lot more content to come and stay tuned for more. And of course this build template series of hero setups that I have for Mesmer Way here today, it's not going to be the most optimal way, but some areas this will be more beneficial than others, so you might have to adjust certain skills. But overall, the metrics of this works really well, and it definitely helps boost with a con set if you decide to use those. So let's dig in. So the main profession I'm using is a monk. Any profession can work with this. You don't have to be a caster. Uh, usually caster is a little more advantage on this in a way, but I say it's more strong with a melee because you actually could be the front line as you're going to be the one going in, say you're a warrior, derver, assassin going in. So you can use that as a front line. You can use your own customized build, but this is the hero setup for the seven way that I have. So I have a mesmer times three, an elementalist times two, a ritualist, and a monk. So I'll be sure to put everything in the description as I mentioned earlier. And Raza, you actually can get Raza from Great Temple of Balthazar outside the portal. If you want to change them over to a Mesber, I'll explain everything throughout, show you the gear and runes as well, and let's do a battle afterward. So my concept of my system is a five Mesber hero setup, a heal support ritualist, and then a heal support with uh, blood of blood is power on my monk for energy and heal support. And then I have one heal support skill or two on every profession that's damage focused. Make sure all of your Mesmers are on fight as well as your elementalists are on fights as well. And then your ritualist will be on guard and your monk will be on a void. And uh, this will be utilized for hard mode or normal mode for anything in PvE in general. For my build, I change it up whether I'm trying to do a spiteful damage dealing monk build or I'll use a healing support build. Just depends on how I feel. I could actually go in and take out my monk and I could be the monk. But I would rather be lazy and just walk around and less of me, more AFK farming or AFK PVEing, so I don't have to full force the whole thing. So this actually will be beneficial for a lot of areas in normal mode and hard mode with me being anti-AFK in a sense. So it's not about my build, but about the seven heroes today. All right, so the first one, Norgu. So Norgu's scheme, Raza's scheme, and Gwen's scheme is all the same when it comes to the main dealing damage with Energy Surge as its elite skill. We'll be focusing on. Uh, it also has a couple of damage skills and rup skills. And like I mentioned earlier, you have a heal support skill. I'm using Ritualist as a second profession. You could decide if you want to do Monk too. I like to have at least one or two full party heal supports on my damage rolls. So I have these in here. All three are using Protective was Kale. Some of, sorry if I'm pronouncing some of these wrong. And then my Elementalists, I have one of them running Illusion for our blinding spell when we deal with melee, and the other one running panic. So my three Mesmers are focused on energy surge, spiking the energy, doing area effect damage. My Mesmer, Elementalist Mesmer, will be focused on panic for Rupt for its elite with some other skills here. And my other Elementalist Mesmer will be on illusion with ineptitude for blinding and melee support. So, and then of course I have a heal support elementalist skill or a restoration and an energy blast. And I'll show you the gear that I'm using on them too. Now for the ritualist, Sandra, I have them as a full party support spirit system. Uh, it's called Soul Twisting ST Rit in a sense where it has the three displacement, shelter, and union for heal support. And basically keep the, the team from taking massive damage. And then I added Protective with Kale to help party heal support and Buna Creation to ma manage self-heal and energy. And of course, Flesh of My Flesh for res, you could take those out depending on how many you like to use. I personally like to have two or three, so I have it. And then my Monk is using Blood as Powers. It's Necro Elite, so that way my other heroes, when they struggle with energy, I'll have my Monk go in and cast 
on that. Whenever there's a dead foe, well of blood, and then all the other skills are self-explanatory with heal support, and then if there's ever a hex for taking the hex out. So that's the general guideline of how I set it up. And uh, once again, this is not the most optimal build, but this is what I've used, and I've actually benefited a good bit from it. So now let's go ahead and focus on the gear. So for the three Mesmers, since they're all running Domination, make sure you have 16 Domination and a 40-40 a set. So I'm actually at a good location to show you where to get this gear at. Vasberg Armory or Levitation Pits you could go to depending on if you're Luxit or Kurzik. Talk to this weapons person either here or at Levitation Pits. You can get all your hero weapons you need for the 40-40 sets. Anybody that doesn't know what 4040 is, 4040 is where you have a 2020 for your wand and a 2020 for your offhand. And it's just half casting, half skill recharge times two for 4040. So any of your gear you need, you can talk to this weapons person. So all three of my mesmers have 4040 sets. All three of my mesmers are geared the same. Prodigy times five. And then I have I like to have a little bit extra health, so Vite times two. And then a Major Vigor or Superior if you can afford it. I don't see the 9 health benefiting for me. Just for that extra like 80 Platinum, it's too much for me. Uh, fast Casting times 1, Domination times 3. Make sure your Headpiece is Dom times 3. And all 3 Mesmers are geared the exact same. Fast Casting plus 1. I used to do plus 3 Fast Casting, but I like to have that extra 75 health for my Mesmers. That's just my preference. And now for the Elementalists. So the first Elementalist is Acolyte. So Acolyte, if I'm pronouncing these wrong, sorry. I'm running a Domination as well since I'm 40-40 set, since I am running a full-on Domination Panic build. And then I have Blessed Insignias times 5 for all of them. I like to run more armor supportive side of runes instead of health or energy. So if I'm able to add armor, since it's always enchanted using Arrow Restoration, I use Blessed. Going to have Major Vigors instead of Superior, but of course Superior Suggested. And then Vite for extra health. And then on the top of both Elementalists, I have the Energy Storage plus one, so I don't have any Sacrificial official Health from the Energy Rune. And then I have Blessed Insignias on the other Ritualist as well. Or sorry, the Elementalist. So the other Elementalist is running Illusion. So I have a 4040 Illusion set for the other Elementalist here. And just running the same stage setup as I had on the other Elementalist. And all of this stuff's in the description. I'm talking a lot. I might make a few little mistakes as I speak because I'm literally recording and vlogging showing you my hero setup. Now for the Ritualist, I just have a staff. Any staff with 20% enchantment will work and a high energy preferred. So have that plus 20 energy for your staff. Communing for that damage when they hit attacks. Make sure you have 16 communing on your Ritualist. So plus 3, plus 1. And then of course a Vigor. And Blessed Insignias across the board, so you get times 5 armor, plus 10 while you're enchanted, and you're always enchanted with Boon of Creation. And then I like to have high spawning as well, so I have a plus 2 spawning. Not plus 3, so I still have a little bit more health, but a little bit sacrificed for that plus 1 extra. And that also helps for your Boon of Creation and your Spirit Health. Spirit Health is very critical for ST Soul Twisting Rit, so that extra couple spawnings help your health for your Rit. And the last but not least, the Ritualist, I'm just running a 2020 offhand healing and then just a spear with 20% enchantment since I need to have Blood is Power for that extra 20% enchantment length length. So instead of having 10 seconds, it'll be around a 12 to 13 second length. And I made sure my Blood was right at plus 5 energy for a regen. So that'll give them a good 9 energy regen whenever they get that. And then, of course, just 20% uh, half-casting and 20-20 armor penetration for the spear. And that's, that's my gear setup for the heroes and the runes. Now let's go outside here and just try it out real quick. If anybody new watching hasn't subscribed yet or hit the like button, go ahead. Uh, feel free to stay tuned for a lot more Guild Wars videos I make as I go along as well. And I appreciate y'all watching and stay tuned for more videos. Check out all the playlists on my channel. I've got over 300 videos, I'd say, on my channel now with so many different things you can do and learn from farming videos, guides, PvP, PvE. So one downfall I will say with this team tactic of all Mezway team with a heal support and ritualist will be that when you do have a heavy rupting spell team, it might hurt the team a lot because of mainly focusing on spell casting. So if you have a lot of Mesmers you fight that'll rupt your spells or you have a lot of the team 
hitting you with high energy loss, it might hurt the team because we are focused more on a spell casting scheme than a frontline attacking scheme build. So that might be a backlog. So that's where you could maybe gear and change away. Say if you wanted to do three mesmers instead of the uh, five mesmer focus with the two elementalists, you could do that and add in a melee and an extra heal support if you need. A lot of people might say, oh, why not just take out two me the two elementalists and add in necros? That's an other actual support team build I've already posted in previous videos. You could do the three mesmers and then two necros, and one of the necros would be a heal support with blood damage, and and then the other necro would run a minion build for frontline helm, basically sacrificial support, so that they the minions will go in and do some damage as well, and help with offsetting for support for damage on the party. But I'm talking a good bit. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you all have any questions, I missed anything, feel free to reach out. Uh, this is not the most optimal build, but it definitely will benefit you for playing in hard mode or normal mode. Concepts help a lot for hard mode in some of the missions, and I hope this has helped some of you all to work towards maybe a new project. Try something new and fun and different, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Check out the link in the description for showing support for the channel, and uh, if you all have anything else, stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you on the next one.